What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Reaction Channel. I'm your host, Ryan, and today we have got more World Strictest Parents. And the good thing about that is the last video that went up, I wasn't sure that if it was going to go up because it got copyrighted and I appealed the claim and then they approved it. So shout out to Warner Brothers. I appreciate that. Now, I'm not going to go fully into the full episode reactions yet because I'm a little bit scared to appeal those. I still can, but it's still scary. So at least since they approved the shorter ones, I figure at least I'll do those for a bit until one day I'm just like, screw it. Let's just give it a shot and see. Um, because it just depends on ever who's working that day for these companies and you know how it can be. But I'm happy to be making more content for this show because it seemed like you guys really enjoyed it, as did I. So we're here again. And because of that, thumbs up the video because we're here making more. So what my, my thought process is now, Tuesdays, I'll be uploading World Strictest Parents content. Thursdays, I'll be uploading Super Nanny content. And Sundays will be Dance Moms content. Then, I promise you, I will return and sprinkle in some more catfish content. So I feel like that's pretty good. That's kind of the schedule right now, if that's okay with you. As always, though, comment anything throughout the video. If there's an episode or anything that you want me to watch related to this show, please let me know. Or if you have any commentary in general, it always boosts the algorithm. Sometimes you guys comment. I'm just commenting to boost the algorithm, and I appreciate that. You guys got my back, and I got yours. And as always, please consider subscribing. This could be the last push for us to get to 20,000. I know some of you are like, okay, enough with the yapping. It's time. Let's go. Look, it's important to me. This channel is my baby. I love it. Okay? 20,000 for a long-form channel is not easy. Okay? I'm excited about it. We are about... 233, I, I say about, I know exactly how many we are. We're 233 away. That's not that many. So please, please consider subscribing to this channel and help me hit 20,000 as it would be a monumental event for me and our lovely community here. And last but not least, I do stream five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And I stream at night. So if it's, uh, you know, anywhere from 6 to 8.30 West Coast time, I'll probably be on stream. If you, got, uh, if you have no plans or want to see more of this very average looking face, please come on by. Drop me a follow and you get to see my dog. Look at my dog. Right? Who doesn't want to see more of my dog? He's there. He's always there. And as are you. Okay. Two videos. One is 10 minutes. One is 7 minutes. Uh, this one is Extreme Haircuts. Compilation. World Strictest Parents. I'm guessing that there's a punishment in this show where kids have to get their hair cut. I don't know if that's even legal or what that's about. But I'm going to guess that that's going to be what it is. And then the second video, let's see what that one is before I play this one, is Angry Dad Clashes with Strict African Dad. So we'll see what that even means. Let's get it going, everybody. Extreme haircuts. That sounds like, like a reality show from like 2006 that MTV would have had, you know, where it's just terrible haircuts and you're pranking your friends or something. Maybe also, should I upload more? I, I was uploading for a little bit. How far is Tattoo Far? You guys remember when I was making some of those videos? Some of the OGs on this channel do. That was over a year and a half ago. Let me know if you want to see more of that, because uh, I don't know why I stopped watching that. Certain shows like Ghosted I stopped watching because there wasn't a lot of content left. There wasn't that many seasons. But I do believe there's a decent amount of How Far is Tattoo Far. So that's another thing. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop. Uh, yeah, but here we go. Let's see how this is. Let's see. I'll have to adjust the volume a little bit, but So we'll have to quickly do something about that. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, this is well, it's starting off looking like he actually desperately needs a haircut, so do something about We'll it. have to cut off a bit. Oh, <laughs> you could use it. I don't even let my mum cut my hair. Like no, no, I don't care whether you want your mum to cut it or not even. 
But yet you go to Craddock High School, your hair will be cut according to rules. Okay. They got. They don't have a fruit bowl, but it looks like maybe a pine cone, a pine coal, pine cone, and basil and bark. I don't know what that is. Thank you. Thanks. All right here we go. Is that one of the? She looks old. That girl. Ron doesn't really go for the fact that he's got to cut his hair, so he'll have to do it according to school rules. So whether he doesn't like. He's it. very upset, but I'll tell you, this might really help him. I think he's due. Do like it? I don't care. His hair will be cut tonight. Oh, I'm so scared. He's scared. I'm really scared of him. Oh. I want to go home so badly. I, oh, he's only cutting my hair as well, but still. Never seen someone this stressed for a haircut. Resistance is futile. The local barber is also a senior police officer and a personal <laughs> friend of Hannah. That's nice. At least they're bringing somebody that's a barber. I thought that the dad was just going to get some clippers. Nice. Yeah. How old are you so the local police officer is the local barber, the local butcher. <laughs> he does everything. 16. 16. Yeah. A regulation haircut for a boy in Craddock is short back and sides. In my school, we, when uh, our hair doesn't get cut, we get caned. What? Yeah. Oh, you have yeah. to have short hair in school. That should be not legal. And that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. You'll always wear your way like this now. It's gorgeous, nice. Nice. They're loving it. I like it, girl. I really like it. He is looking much better. Oh my. Oh my god. I'm not sure how you could hate it. It's, Why does my hair have to be a certain length? It's kinda looks kinda looks good. Maybe maybe lose those little Pinocchio bangs at the top, but my hair is disgusting. Uh -huh. I hate it. <laughs> I think he looks he looks good. What are they eating? Oh my goodness, what in the world is that? Really? Look at that. that looks like a turd, I'm not gonna lie. Look at Grant, how beautiful he's no. without hair. <laughs> <laughs> the Mormons are sticklers for presentation. And it's not just Grant's appearance causing concern. Uh oh. You see, you will have to get rid of your makeup. Otherwise they would not accept you in the school. She has to take off her makeup? Is that a problem? Yeah. I can't not go without makeup. Wow, no, what in the world? I mean, I, I'm guessing that this was a long time ago, and maybe that doesn't, or this might still exist in other countries, but I can't imagine that happening in the United States. Is that a thing in some, I don't know. I went to public school. You could, there was no dress code for the most part. There was no hair code, makeup code. Is that a thing? That sounds a little bit wild to me. Morning, you will not go with makeup. That's just one of the rules, my dear. Lucy's been allowed to wear makeup since the age of twelve. She never. He didn't. He didn't like his turd. Leaves her room without it. I think they're too strict. Yeah, because now I'm gonna have to have a row with them. Because there's no way I'm going. I won't go to school then. That's how it is. Not the accent. Grant actually, after he cut, fitted in quite easily <laughs> at table. But Lucy's not happy at this stage. I can see that. So I think day two, perhaps, day three, fireworks. I love his voice. He could be like the Dos Equis man or like the, the Julio guy. Don Julio. <laughs> Dos Equis. See, perfect. Wake up time, Lucy. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. Today is the teen's first day at school. Boys, you have to dress quickly, otherwise we're going to be late. Do you know what? Go away. <laughs> Just have to pack your bag. Man, For look at the, da the daughter up in a full suit. <laughs> that is crazy. At 6 a.m., ready to go. That's crazy. You would have to physically take the bed and bring it to school for me to be up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Now, Lucy has reluctantly complied with the no makeup policy. Just gotta get on with it. I was one of those people that I would wake up, like, let's say I had to be up at 7.10, and my dad would take me to school at 7.20. Like, I would, w I mean, I would, I would wake up at 7.10 and be out the door at 7.20. I would just throw on something randomly, brush my teeth, do a quick hair comb and go, because I would always shower the night before. 
I swear, sometimes I would go to school, I'd be still sleeping mentally. This time in the morning. The Mormon children go to separate schools. For the duration of their stay, the UK teens will be attending Lever's school. Now, I think it's important for the kids to go to school to um, see how South African schools work, the disciplined schools. Um, and I think it's important that they uh, I like his mustache. meet other kids in South Africa, not only my two kids. Oh, wow, this looks scary a little bit. <laughs> a little bit scary. It almost, they're almost dressing like Hogwarts. I don't know, man. This, just, this kind of stuff feels a little bit wild to me. You know? Maybe that's just because I, I, that's not what I grew up around. But I don't know. Shout out to Harry Potter, though. I did a quiz on BuzzFeed the other day, and I got um, Gryffindor as my house, which I knew I would. I called it, and I was right. I've been doing a lot of quizzes on stream. Craddock High is a state school 10 miles away in the nearest line. town. Its motto is, Great movie. nothing without hard work. And the strict code of conduct is enforced by the head teacher, Mr. Bonsai. I bet their lunches suck. To a person who's not used to this type of discipline, it might look army-like. Yeah, it did look army-like. Certainly did. All right, what's next? Give me another haircut. Is it a big school? Does that have many kids there? We at Kingsway have a very strict code of conduct. You two are going to have to abide by the code of conduct. There is just no... Now, see, if this kid has to get a haircut, that is a real bummer. Because that's a, that's a decent-looking, you know, head of hair right there. That's the Bieber hair. That would really upset me. The other kid, it looked like he needed one. Negotiation. A package in the bag. Okay, so she's got to lose her headband. That's not too bad. Oh, the bracelets. I'm not cutting my hair, so... Oh, no. So you're going to go and be treated as a normal general assistant in the school, and you will be put on to ground duty, and you will weed in orange overalls. Oh, I'm not doing They're making that. him a prisoner. Yes, you are, sir. She put them back in real quick. They don't come out. Well, you're going to have to get them out, young lady. They're they not do. coming out. If they don't come out, you're going to be in the orange overalls as well. <laughs> I'll rock those overalls. I like the confidence. The farmer music. Do you realize that you're going to be the laughing stock of the school? Oh my god. <laughs> look at everything. They legit look like prisoners. It's so funny. See, the point of orange jumpsuits for prisoners is so they're seen easily and also if they have to do work outside, like that they're easily spottable as a prisoner. But, like, this is crazy at a school. Looks like kind of looks like a 21 Pilots music video shoot. You're just staring at me. And I was like, mm, this doesn't look too good because it's pretty embarrassing being in this. And there's no way I'm taking my piercings out. So I'll be in this little orange outfit for three days. <laughs> I didn't tell us the bags were that big. How can you keep doing it? I can't even do one. <laughs> They're making them pick the weeds. So That's crazy. What is a normal day like in Australia compared to here? Going to the skate park, smoking weed. I'm smoking the weed, now you're picking up the weed. I don't smoke <laughs> this kind of weed. <laughs> Not working. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bree. You can just throw it up the back. He did what he had to do. My hair. Oh, he's changing his mind. Okay, let's see. How bad is this going to be? Was it right? Yeah. So far, that's not too bad. Chris is a little bitch. He says one thing. He says a little bitch. And then half an hour later, he changes his mind and just does it anyway. So he might as well just do it from the start. Uh oh, it's getting a little short. Okay. Let's see. We didn't get the full appearance yet. Will I get smashed on the ground? Yes, you would. It doesn't look like it's that different. <laughs> I wish you played Wing. Wing. S like second one. That looks like Syndicate, the YouTuber back in the day, if anyone knows who that is. I'm on the wing. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh. The hair doesn't look that bad. Oh, 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 oh. The monkeys. I wish I had, I would have loved to have monkeys at my at my school cheering me on, man. That would be amazing. It was actually pretty fun. Memphis, you will have to right, tie that your that hair up 
So, but you were. Uh -oh. Well, look at the, <laughs> let's look at the hair on the left already. Hold on. Memphis, you have to tie your hair up. That, that is certainly. That is certainly a hairstyle. That. <laughs> so, but you will need to remove anything else that is on your face. All right, piercing is no gonna go. For Zane, they will need you to have your hair. That is like Christopher Drew. Never shout. Never. Never get a haircut. Never. My goodness. There's about four different hairstyles, and one. It's like when you play dress to impress, and you just layer the hair on uh, haircuts on top of each other. <laughs> also, somebody commented. I take my critiquing comments seriously someone's a lot of people like the soundboard they like when i do it it's also just a way for me to do it live like a radio show but someone said that it's ear piercing and i realized some of the sounds were kind of loud so i turned everything down halfway so now when i do this it shouldn't it shouldn't be scary or that loud hopefully a little bit better because i love the sounds okay they're like a my, part of me but they might have been a little bit loud so i took it down a notch Cut to uh, a little shorter, just showing your ears, and not to wax your hair. Is that all right with you? Um, no. Uh. That's not all right with you? Do I have to do that? Yeah, you have to do that in order to get into the school. Yeah, this just must be a thing in South Africa. I don't know. We really need you to cooperate with that. The hair has to be something like mine. Those chairs look very comfortable. I look ridiculous if I cut it off. Well, you look ridiculous now. <laughs> you might look better. Ridiculous or not, the Chuas are insisting we go. Zane gets a haircut immediately. Oh, his name's Zane. The school rules. Man, that's a lot. What is that? That's a lot. It looks like he just got electrocuted. I guess it's just like a, it's a comb over in the front and then gel on the sides and then a lot of gel and hairspray in the back. I don't, I get, yeah, look, it was, you know, probably popular in that area back then. Hair must not touch the collar. It must not touch the ears. Wow. And it must be above the eyebrows. And fancy hairstyles are strictly forbidden. They're going to make them straighten it. Okay, so far. Wow, this is. He looks like a beehive. Nothing. I mean, I, I will have my whole uh, head have a crew cut. This is just a little trim. Oh, well, I know. I'd rather not go to school than have my hair cut. Uh. Hey, just make sure that you do not wear any makeup. No makeup is allowed in school. She's had no makeup. She's yeah, I want to take literally it. has eyeliner on. I feel bad without it. No makeup, no jewelry. And Zane still struggling with that. I mean, I, Zane's haircut looks much better, and also the hair is still around his ears. You neat hairdo. It looks Zane much better. managed to compromise on the haircut. Like, we wouldn't cut his sides, but we oh. cut his back. Okay, I see. What in the world is that? What is that? Why am I getting a shirtless Zane in a field? What am I looking at right it's now? It's a bit of a departure from his preferred look. Definitely not appropriate <laughs> for school. <laughs> so bizarre. All right, yeah, he's Very showing ridiculous. the ear. Honestly, he right. looks much better. Does he not? They let me in school because I look ridiculous. This is a brand new comb for you, so it's going to stay with you for the week. Nice, new comb. We love it. Comb it really, really flat. Just have it all flat. And That's correct. some crispy hair right there. So nothing should be sticking out in different directions. You're going to tuck your shirt in. Oh, I thought she just cursed. She said shirt, different okay. Different directions. I was like, damn. You're going to tuck your shirt in. <laughs> No, I don't like life here at all. I've been here for a day and I don't like it. Hope I don't see any girls. Looks like he's about to paint a house. Street. Run off an embarrassment, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what some of the comments say here. Oh, my goodness. Most of the teen hairstyles were wild at the time. His hair looks ragged as anyway. Didn't know, yeah, that first kid, I, I, think they, uh, I think they gave him a glow up. Oh, they're talking about the Igor cut. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, my goodness. That was a new episode. Hi. <laughs> Real Kitty Jewel, how are you? Didn't know that cats could type. All right, here's the second one. 
Little seven minute video, Angry Dad clashes with strict African dad. Did they, did, I think they meant to make this as Angry Teen? Did they mean? Oh, we'll see. I don't know. I do not know. We'll see what this even means. Gus, do as you're told and you'll get it over and done with. Because you're wasting your own time, boy. Gus. All activity has ground to a halt for two hours over Chris's stubborn refusal to wash his clothes. But for this family, Wait, is that not the same kid from the last video? Fitness is an extreme sport, and Chris has to finally admit defeat. Oh my god. It's definitely him. <laughs> Pretty strict. Way stricter than my mom and dad. I thought they were strict, but they're nowhere near. Maybe he was in two episodes. But Bree is a different story. I'm not cleaning the coffee table. I'm oh, not she's fixing back up the too. couch. I'm not doing anything. You are going to clean no, it. No, that not, sounded I'm really bad. That I am not. You are going to I will sit here all fucking night. Whoa. You'll look tomorrow. I'm not doing shit. Language warning. Sorry about that. Wow. Although she says it in an accent where it doesn't really even sound like a curse. I'm not doing it. I want the coffee table cleaned. I mean, I'd rather have capital punishment than have a lecture. Or have my mother sitting on the bed staring at me like she is at Brie now. Impume has changed into her bed clothes and is ready for the long haul. We're just all going to be bunk buddies for the night. Someone is going to have punishment the whole day tomorrow or else we stay on this bed. It's like a Mr. Beast challenge. <laughs> Last to leave the bed. Has to clean the table. For the whole of eight days. I'm just going to do Bree's job because she's been lazy. Oh, no, no, don't do it. Why? It is her job to do. Oh, he's being nice, at least. If I do the table, can I go straight to bed? Bree actually doing what she's told wow. is like a small miracle. <laughs> and the family think it's worth... All, all that to just clean a table? It takes 30... I, I clean my house... Almost every day. Celebrating. In the name of Jesus, I <laughs> Imagine all you do is clean a table and there's like a party happening. Victory, it's a learning curve for them. Eventually they're going to realize that life the is DC not what logo they used to be so popular. That and uh, doing famous doing stars and stripes. Is punished. Anybody over the age of twenty seven knows that. to everyone wants to. Bedtime's everyone in their bedroom. You're not in your bedroom, and that's against the rule. Uh-oh. Is it the fact that he's a boy Go and a girl? Go back to your room. Is that the problem? Go to your room. Whoa! Sleeping time. That's, that, you could tell that scared him. Mm, my God. I've worked with teenagers for more than 20 years. I'm not going to give up. Nicholas's experience tells him the teens have a plan, so he sets up a guard post. Smart. Are you sitting there all night? Are you not sleeping? I need to smoke so bad. <sighs> when a noise outside sees him leave his post, Chris takes his chance. Oh my God. What's he doing? Oh my, he, he immediately started smoking. This kid would have loved a vape, I'll tell you. This is going to end a disaster. Why can't I quickly have it? What did he think was going to happen? Yeah, I don't even touch this thing, you understand? Why do you do this to me? Because I smoke. I'll go to bed now because I had some. <laughs> Talk about a Nick addiction. Go to sleep. <sighs> as far as Chris is concerned, he's had a small victory. Well, that's not going to last. But for Nicholas, it's going to be a long night. It's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. This is all Bree. <laughs> Just a, just a bag in her face. The vibe in the Miyeza household is not exactly harmonious. We all help make food. I don't. You won't be eating? Eh? No. I also don't care, my boy. <clears throat> you don't prepare food, you don't eat. That's how it is. Scrambled eggs. But the promise of a family excursion 
sees Chris and Bree actually tackling their chores. Okay. They may not be so enthusiastic if they knew where they were off to. I'm interesting with things. When I was younger, obviously I hated chores. And when I lived with roommates, I never liked doing the dishes because I was always like, it's kind of gross doing someone else's dirty dishes. But when it's your, like I live alone, and if it's my dishes, it's like, it's me. I don't care. It's, I'm not grossed out by it. It doesn't affect me. I like plop my headphones on and put on like a long form video and I just like get it done. It's actually very therapeutic. Same thing with like folding laundry. Like I just kind of treat it as, you know, a 30 minute relaxation thing instead of treating it as like some chore that I have to do. Everything we do is around our Christian belief. Jesus, oh wow! Take me to the it's like a Kanye uh, sample. Our life as a married couple and as parents, it centers around our belief. I'm rocking with it. The family are leading members of their church community, but the teens are refusing to enter the church. Oh come on! I don't want to go in because I don't believe in God. I just don't want to hear all that stuff that they say. I don't want to go in there. It's a rule. It, and if you break you, it, yeah, it's a rule that you force someone to go in there. Yeah. Okay, when they well, don't believe that, about it. Yeah. Goes yeah. To I don't believe in God. Okay, well, well, so I'm not doing it. The teen's behaviour is. I guess this is a tough one because it's like I guess can you can't you shouldn't have to force someone on religion obviously. So I guess I don't even know what my opinion would be on this one, like you should be able to believe what you believe in is I guess would be what I say here, but I, I feel like she's about to go off. Deeply humiliating for the entire family and tempers flare. Uh -oh. Okay, well, I'm not forcing you to believe in God, but you're gonna walk in there and don't turn your back while you're talking to me. You're that younger than me, so I'm not taking any orders from you. I don't have okay? any orders. Bree's annoying me because <laughs> oh, she's just Bree's acting like a two year old up. in the body of a 17 year old. How am I like a two year old when I'm sticking up for what the fuck I uh oh. The fact that she believes in nothing, she's. I think she's wasting her time. But I'm just saying, my family don't. They're just so setting me off. Aren't? They just push even more buttons and just make something little just explode. I don't care. Hey, listen. I'm not, listen. Don't fucking touch me! <laughs> Once again, sorry for the language. <laughs> but the way that she says it, it's hard not to laugh. It's like fart. Oh, uh oh, Fight. Fight. You know you Just leave me alone. Whoa. Hey, don't shout at me. Don't shout at me. Telling you, you better leave me alone. Oh, this out front of church is pretty wild. Leave me alone. I think they are trying to prove a point that they don't take any instruction from anyone. I'm gonna stick to my grounds and I'll be firm in whatever instruction I'm giving them. I'm not prepared to change or to compromise anything. And stop sitting so close. <laughs> that, that kind of happened to me not too long ago. I was at the mall. Sometimes I like to just chill and there's this really good Chinese place um, at the mall and uh, like has some of my favorite Chinese food. And there was like 30 tables. It was really empty. And this dude sat like right next to my table, like this table right next to me. I kind of looked at him like, bro, there's 30 tables. Why me? It's another standoff. And even after six frustrating hours, Nicholas still has faith he'll get these teens into church. I don't know about that. But Bree has... I don't think the title should be... I think it's Angry Teen Clashes with Straight... I don't think it should be... I don't, or is... Is he a dad? Is that is Chris a father? The young kid? Other ideas. Uh oh. Uh oh. He about to throw that cigarette to the moon. Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh! Whoa! He ain't messing around with that cigarette. Get off me! Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off me! Whoa! Oh my god! She is feisty. Keep it away, I swear to God. Keep it away. Don't fucking come near me. I swear to God, I will not get. Well, we know what her favorite curse word is. Get away, I swear to God. 
Yeah. I swear to God. To so you, she's, I love it. She's like, I don't believe in God. She's out front of a church. And she's like, I swear to God. <laughs> she realizes the irony. Day's right. been bad. Nicholas is laying this down is the mind. challenge. This is just only day two. You're going to see. Man, what a feisty episode. I like that. <laughs> Look at, there it is. Teen's reaction to mandatory church days. Explosive. All right, so maybe we can watch that one day in full. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, upload the full reactions. The way he tries to defend He's himself. Yeah. <laughs> put him up. Put him up. Put up the Dukes. Uh, I don't believe in God. I, I swear to God. See, look. Potty the parrot. Even a bird knows better. They know they they get the they get the same ideas that I do. The way these teens behaved in this clip was out of order. I agree. <clears throat> I wonder where these two people are at now. Maybe in jail. You never know. All of these shows, why do they not just leave? That's the point of the show. <laughs> That's literally the point of the show. I don't think... It, look at this comment. The boy is weak, giving into their BS, and the mother being on bed with the children is discussing where are the cops. That's such a reach. Number one, the point of the show is that they're bad kids, and their parents... Someone is sending them here as almost like a boot camp. The mom being on the bed with them is not as creepy as you make it, you know? She was just proving them a point of, like, you're not going to sleep if you don't do your chores. Obviously a little bit crazy, and the forcing the religion thing is a little bit crazy. I'm not saying it's not, but that's insane. <laughs> Bree cleans the table. Hallelujah. Oh, man, some funny stuff. Good episode. Good episode. Good little bits there. All right, well, at least now I have the full episode. Actually, let me make sure I save that. Make sure I save that. Um in my favorites so I can come back to it and then hopefully one I day care. I didn't care we can watch it in full and it'll be up on YouTube and we'll all be thankful and sing hallelujah together all right well as always if it's not too much of an ask if you have not liked the video and you're still here 30 plus minutes into the video, please consider liking the video. Please consider leaving a comment at any point. Once again, you can literally just say first. I think it's so funny. You could be the 85th comment and say first if you have nothing to say. And it's funny because sometimes people will reply to like, you're not first. That's the point of the joke. And then they'll feel silly. And then once again, please consider subscribing. We are close. We are so close. We are in the home stretch. I can feel it. I can feel it. And I want to hit 20,000. It'll be a big day for me in the community here. So please consider doing so once again. Sometimes you don't realize you're not subscribed. You may be watching video after video and go, oh, well, you know what? He was right. So if that's you or this is your first time watching, please subscribe. And then last but not least, before I go make my dinner, which is mac and cheese, follow me on Twitch. I stream five days a week. You can support me there. And come on by, watch me live, interact with me. I say hi to everybody so we can chat. And uh, we'll have a good time. Watch some shows uh, and some full episodes of some things. So come on by. Love to see you there. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you very soon right here on Brian's Average Reactions. Peace.